Okay, let's do a little tour of the polytunnel while it's quiet. It's, uh, not quite eight o'clock. So I'll lock myself in here. So got our little seed starting bench there. A few little things, got some sunflowers and some some uh, what do you call it cucumbers ready to go somewhere when I've got some space. More sunflowers and some puck joy and kale. Anyway. Uh, I'm kinda in the middle of changeover, so the peas are starting to finish up. It's getting a bit too warm in here for them. And just got a few random things. Got heaps of this um, spring onion that we need to eat. And potato here, just randomly. And there's a sh wild strawberry for me. Um. So, yeah, got tomatoes in. So as we harvest the leek, we've got a ton of leek as well. And Janine's been making leek and potato soup which is scrumptious and these bush tomatoes or dwarf tomatoes here um, are just coming on now this one's called 42 days and 42 days is one of the fastest fruiting tomatoes apparently so he's already going for it um, Actually, there's, I don't think they mean 42 days as in from planting to harvest, but there's the date that I transplanted tea for transplant. So I'll put it in here as a seedling. Uh, what's that? Two months ago. No, more than that. Anyway, uh, it's going alright. And... So leeks, got to eat. Got some wind damage because there's a window there. Got some wind damage on this celery, but we don't eat the leaves, so that's all right. And cucumbers. These are a Parthenocarpic cucumbers, so they don't need pollination. They don't produce seeds. They're a hybrid variety, which they grow in greenhouses. And a little corner here of more spring onion, which is getting pretty big. And some strawberries, which I don't know if they're going to fruit for me. Strawberries don't need pollination usually, but anyway, we'll see. And these capsicums, I overwintered. I dug them up out of the garden, and they were just sticks. And now they've continued and we're starting to get some cucumbers on there. And as I was saying, I've been planting in 20 litre buckets. So, good thing about that is you can shuffle things around. If it gets uh, too hot, for example, you can take them out into the, the shady area, but I don't, don't think that'll happen. And here's my overwintered tomatoes. These were also in the ground. And I dug them up and put them in a bucket. And uh, it's going crazy. And one of these came off yesterday while I was checking it. And I tasted it. And I said, it doesn't taste like a tomato. It tastes like a lolly. It was really scrumptious. So I got some uh, eggplant, another cucumber. So the cucumbers that need pollination, I'll plant outside. But these ones, these are just cuttings from an existing cucumber. So didn't need seed for that because the seeds of the hybrid varieties are like a dollar each. And that's the polytunnel. I've got some broad beans they actually smell nice um, they're not making a heap of beans but when you come in here it smells really nice broad beans when I've got them outside they just get covered in aphids so you got to really keep onto the aphids but in here there's 
protection and yeah, more overwintered capsicum there all my dahlias hanging up <laughs> um, and the end of some carrots in the bucket in a, in a box so I pull one or two out of there every now and then put it in a lunch box or in a stir fry <clears throat> And every day I grab this toothbrush, come in here and just go and make sure I'm getting good pollination on all the flowers and the tomatoes. You can do that for capsicum too. That's the tour of the polytunnel at the moment. Any questions?